Hi all, welcome to my channel. In this video, we'll discuss about like a, a Flipkart interview experience. Um, so I think you might know about like uh, these videos are like a series of my previous com previous interview experiences. So I think many people have requested me to upload uh, other interview experiences also, which I'm not joined uh, or like not selected also. So as part of that uh, request, uh, uh, as I already uploaded Amazon interview experience uh, recently, now I'm uh, uploading, uh, uh, I'm recording the Flipkart interview experience. So first I'll talk about like how I got this approach. And second one, I'll, I'll, uh, I'll discuss about like uh, what are how many rounds and difficulty of the and difficulty of the round and also questions also. So firstly, basically how I got this opportunity. This time from Insta hire. So my, uh, I uploaded my resume in Insta hire website. So uh, in that uh, one of the Flipkart recruiter saw my profile and uh, sent me that uh, uh, drive link. So if I am interested uh, in the upcoming drive. So it's only week, it's only I think not even week, around five days left uh, for the interview. Uh, so I didn't prepare very well. It's basically two years back, I guess. Um, I think in, in before joining RCCM, like while applying for RCCM, uh, uh, in that particular uh, time, I'm trying for this, uh, I applied for this company. So I said, okay, uh, uh, you can schedule the interview. Like, so it's basically drive. So I, I, I'm not the just, just the only the person, there are like almost 15 people joined uh, in that Zoom call uh, for the introduction, introductory call. Uh, it's not an introductory call, so it basically once the people gathered, then they will start the first round. So as I'm already experienced, I'm not sure, there is no hacker rank link or like online assessment ring. It directly, uh, it's first round for me. So the first round for Flipkart is like machine coding round. Uh, I think this is the this is becoming popular day by day like uh, most pay, most companies adopting machine coding round. Uh, so in this machine coding round, uh, uh, so they mostly uh, they have given me uh, a, a question called design a basically design a doctor application. So we basically uh, customers will see the list of available doctors and uh, whoever doctor is available uh, for this particular uh, whoever based on the designation and based on the doctor availability rate uh, of the particular time slots. So uh, users or customers will be able to book the particular time slot. So this is the, uh, so currently we have many, many, com many companies right? like Practo, Mfine. So like similar application, it's a very, on a high level uh, with, with very basic uh, uh, functionalities they want us to design, develop. So first of all, we around 15 to 20 people are there in that uh, call. So from the 15 to 20 people, uh, once the once they have shared this uh, problem statement uh, of the complete, uh, what are the features they are uh, expecting? First thing is like it should be work, it should be fully working code. And second one is like the basic features they are expecting. Uh, uh, a doctor can able to register themselves, customers can able to book, and. Uh, uh, showing the uh, list of doctors based on the designation uh, and um, sorting the doctors based on the rating uh, given by the customers to the doctor. So I think these are the basic uh, features they are, they are expected us to implement. So yeah, I have uh, tried implementing. Uh, so uh, so they, ha they have shared the uh, another uh, uh, Zoom link. So we have joined. So we'll basically share the screen and we'll uh, turn, our, turn our camera on. So we'll, uh, around 90 minutes they have given us a time to uh, build this particular uh, piece of code. So I need, so so sometimes, some, sometimes, right? Like uh, it's around 15 minutes or 20 minutes, like some interviewer or like HR will basically come and uh, uh, monitor us and they will go. And they basically, they'll, be, they'll need to switch to different, different people, right? Uh, that's why. So uh, they have given me 90 minutes of time. So I have already practiced machine coding around uh, uh, by the time. So now I know like how to quickly come come up with the skeleton skeleton structure and what things are expected in the machine coding round and what things I need to focus. So in the machine coding round, right? You no need to uh, you no need to have any data store. So everything you everything you do it's in memory like storing a data in a hash map. And second thing, uh, uh, it depends on time. If you have time, you can build a uh, like. Uh, uh, either spring boot application but mostly interviews are very happy with the command line application 
So you can uh, give all the test cases in the main function itself. You can simply execute. So, so that's why because of this one we can save a lot of time and focusing on only on the implementation feature. So what I did, uh, so firstly I come up, with, I'll come up with the classes, and then I'll I come up with the services, and then I come up with the repository. So I have created a doctor repository, created a uh, user repository, and created a appointments repository. Uh, and also I have created a uh, basically uh, doctors uh, doctor pojo like doctor object user user pojo and also uh, whatever uh, uh, pojos which are required. I have shared the video uh, already in my YouTube uh, uh, when I when I was got interview opportunity along with the problem statement uh, and also I got selected the particular round machine coding round. So you can go and refer. Um, but mostly I have used the factory pattern. I have used the singleton pattern. I have used the, um, I think, a builder pattern, adapter pattern also. Like a, a, a couple of patterns I have used. So interview is also expected if you are using this particular pattern or not. So finally, by the item, by the time of 90 minutes, right, I'm able to complete the solution. So I didn't implement the bonus points, but I'm able to implement uh, till I think. Uh, uh, so and also the one more thing they looked about. Uh, uh, once the particular booking is already completed, right? So other other people cannot book the same uh, same slot again. So that is the main feature I think they are looking. So I have implemented all these particular features except uh, in the six features I have implemented like uh, almost four and a half. Four and a half, almost five is also completed, but uh, I was not able to complete because of time constraint. So uh, when the when I would, after ninety minutes, uh, so interviewer joined my call and asked me to explain. So I have explained around 15 minutes the complete uh, code and he saw the complete code whatever I have written and asked me I have asked him what are the patterns I have used and asked me why you have implemented like this uh, and uh, he give, he asked me to give in some few test cases uh, whatever he has and asked him to test. So everything is working fine uh, then. So yeah I thought of okay I did well this particular uh, inter uh, interview. So after almost half an hour back. Uh, after half an hour, uh, HR called me for the next round of interviews. So the next round of interviews are like basically coding round and low level designing round. And and uh, once I gone through this coding round and low level designing round, finally it should it's like hiring manager round. So when so first I have first I got the low level designing round. So I got the problem statement of design a book my show. It's a very plain problem statement I got. Now, uh, so it's completely up to me what which specific area interview is basically looking or interview is looking in general. So I have I have explained what are the what the how is the functionality of book my show. Like uh, uh, basically, it means can able to add a show, add a theater, or uh, remove a show. All the crowd operations will be have that it mean. And uh, uh, when it comes to users, right, user can only able to book the uh, show and users can able to search the theaters or search the shows every, or, or search a, in a specific date we need to display all the shows available in that user location so depend so these are the all the general way of how book my show will work right so I have uh, talked everything uh, so I have firstly I have write down all the requirements so so for the requirements itself it took me almost 10 minutes uh, to come out the requirements and then finally, I uh, have asked me what areas you are, you are looking at. So interview you are looking at mostly class diagrams. And second one is like uh, DB queries. And third one API design. So these are the three areas that he is looking into. Uh, so I have come up with the quickly, I have come up with the important classes and services, uh, uh, whatever is required. And also I have come up with the uh, DB queries, how to set, uh, basically before db queries i have completely wrote down the db relation so like i uh, have chosen the mysql as is involved a payment uh, as is involved a uh, relation between let's say um, this particular location has these many theaters and, and each theater might have multiple shows uh, and then sometimes uh, it depends on multiplex right there might be screens also there so each screen has like multiple shows so depending on that it has it has very complex relationship between uh, one to many uh, everything right that's why i have to just i have chosen a mysql database so depending on that i have write down the complete table uh, once i write the complete table uh, uh, then the next thing is like uh, they have uh, uh, he asked me to explain 
So I have explained he asked me to write the APIs. APIs like so APIs and says slash uh, booking slash booking ID slash uh, uh, and also what are the requests I'm I'm expecting to pass. So how this payment uh, transaction should be payment such as payment failed. And also he asked me about like uh, writing some more uh, uh, DB queries. So how to show the list of available uh, shows uh, and also uh, how to uh, like based on depending on a user query uh, how how you will basically filter out the uh, options so these are the questions they have he asked once i am done with all the questions uh, he then asked me to uh, highly give the outline of like services so i have given all the services in a component i have given this load balancer uh, just link uh, it's more of a system designing outline so i have given this complete structure then uh, once it's almost uh, 15 minutes have passed down like it's, it's around 10 minutes are left then he focused on mostly on concurrency so this concept i'm not very familiar by the time so i'm not uh, completed the concept in my bucket list so initially he, he asked me like uh, so now let's say th there are, there is a possibility of like uh, multiple bookings can happen right uh, to the same seat so multiple users can able to try a same seat of particular data right how will mitigate how will ensure that only one person will able to get the seat and others others won't get so whatever knowledge i have i try to exp try to explain so as a theater has like there are two parts one is like if theater has like uh, if theater has their their own database uh, and uh, uh, and for example if you see the pay paytm right if you see the uh, book my show right uh, in some in mostly when uh, in one to in mostly weekend i think more uh, people will try to book the tickets right so paytm will completely take this particular uh, right side of seats uh, and book my show will completely take the left side of seats if you observe uh, if, that's why you will see book date book tickets in one in a uh, paytm let it might not be a uh, booking done in the uh, uh, book my show there might be right side seats still might be left so in order to whenever the peop, whenever the heroes are like too popular or like uh, too much craze to the particular uh, movie right then they will follow this kind of strategy uh, but uh, so i have explained this one and uh, i have explained if if uh, they with locking mechanisms like uh, i have talked about like a uh, persistent persistence lock uh, uh, and uh, optimistic i have talked about optimistic lock i think but i don't know any in depth of in depth of internals the only thing i know is like with the help of version we can able to control uh, if if let's say uh, whenever uh, let's say if if i already try to uh, book try to trying to book the particular ticket particular uh, ticket right particular seat right so initially version might be v1 so when i'm trying uh, when i'm trying to insert the data let's, let's say booking is completed i'm trying to uh, marking as a completed then i'll again check for a version if it is like v1 i'll update a v2 and and, and i'll mark as completed if it is not and uh, i there is a version mismatch if it's basically v1 plus uh, x plus y is greater than x greater than y plus 1 uh, it's basically uh, uh, someone already uh, booked the ticket i'm i'm making this as like a failed transaction so something i have explained and then i already explained like uh, um, uh, blocking a seat whenever someone selects and move to the next trans move to the next phase like payments place we can uh, uh, respect the third parties can block a seat for a couple of minutes so then he asked me about he asked me about like procedures in a db and then uh, what are the concurrent what other ways you can handle locking and uh, did you know about distributed locking i don't know about distributed locking i don't know redis has this uh, uh, distributed locking which can uh, uh, which we can control at that time it's almost uh, two years back right one and a half two years back so i'm not able to answer so but anyway like uh, whatever i'm capable i am I'm able to answer like so so once the low level designing round is completed uh, so the second round uh, third round basically because first is machine coding round second one is like low level designing round third one is basically i got uh, again coding round so in the coding round right so i got two questions uh, so so interviews straight away jump into the problems like uh, i think that is a drive and they might have very less time so that's why uh, he didn't ask me about uh, my my project where i'm working all those things so he straight away uh, asked me problems so the first problem i got is basically top it's basically graph problem 
it's basically topological sorting only like it's basically core scheduling algorithm so i figured out that one so uh, i i answered uh, that one pretty well uh, so uh, so second question i got is basically matrix version of dp programming so back then i am not very familiar with uh, dp right so i have i'm able to i'm able to answer uh, but uh, not very optimized way so uh, i come up with that uh, path traversal of finding a max element uh, every level something like that that question i got so uh, i'm able to answer but uh, it's it is not expected the uh, uh, person uh, interviewer time complexity i think i'm able to answer in n square he he's expecting an n log n so yeah that is about uh, uh, coding round uh, once once the particular round is completed i have checked with the interviewer about my uh, feedback but uh, interviewer said like uh, it's basically uh, not up to the level which i am applying so he said like your coding skills are good but your uh, uh, low level designing skills are like very not up to the mark uh, uh, so you need to uh, to the level you are applying uh, so i i thought of like maybe maybe the package which i was asked or, or maybe it might be higher band that's why they might ask, choose us choose another other people so yeah it's completely up to it's completely luck right so i didn't practice the locking concepts everything that's why i'm not able to answer uh, completely like then I, after after the interview i have learned the concepts like uh, how to do all those things like so it's very it's a good learning opportunity to me uh, uh, when i'm applying flipkart so because after applying the flipkart i got a confident of like selecting all the any of the machine coding round because uh, almost i have applied uh, in 10 companies i asked for the machine coding round in almost in nine companies i just gone through the machine coding round like so that so i think i got the enough confidence on me like so and also low level designing i know where i'm lacking and uh, i know how to i know what things to improve so 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 you need to believe like every interview right either will teach you the lessons or will give you the offer so i i got the lessons from uh, uh, flipkart uh, yeah this is my interview experience with flipkart uh, so mostly uh, once i'm if i'm selected right uh, the only the hiring manager round will be left so it it's basically uh, more of uh, general discussions i might be i might get selected uh, hiring manager round also if i'm selected so yeah it's ultimately uh, we don't know right where our destiny is like we need to keep on try till we get success so this is about like uh, uh, flipkart interview experience so i hope you got something from this video if you got anything uh, please like and subscribe and share to your friends who are applying and trying for flipkart or or want to know how the interview experiences in the future videos uh, i'll talk about like other companies let's like, say into it uh, palmart uh, and salesforce all those companies like yeah and uh, till then bye bye